Hello dear student, how are you? Have a nice day. What is physics? Human beings have always been curious about the world around them. We were puzzled by the changing shapes of the moon. We have also questioned the fall of apple and occasionally surprised by colorful rainbows in the sky. Physics is everywhere around us, from as small as an atom to as large as the universe. Physics is the most fundamental science. In day-to-day -day life, for example, our bodies emit invisible radiation which we perceive as heat. That is why in winter season we feel warm by close to a loved one. Some creatures like bats locate their prey in the dark by reflection of sound. Plants during photosynthesis pull water from the soil by transpiration. Atoms interact with one another and form molecules by the virtue of electrical forces. Molecules take shapes and size as per the law of physics. And there are countless applications of physics in technology such as radio, airplane, and Wi-Fi. It is therefore abundantly clear that physics is a part of everyday life. But how do we formally define physics? Simply speaking, physics is a study of relationship between physical quantities, quantities like length, mass, time, and temperature, that have physicalness and can be measured by using an instrument. For example, a cup of tea is warm, as it has a temperature that can be measured with a thermometer. Likewise, volume is a physical quantity that can be measured by a meter scale. In physics, we are interested in the relationship between, let's say, volume and temperature. By how much does the volume change when temperature is doubled? Such questions have solutions in the form of an equation or a physical law. The said law can be verified in laboratory by experimentation. This is how physics is generally done, by the help of scientific method. First, observe and question a physical phenomena. Then identify the quantities involved. Guess how they could be related to each other. And lastly, test whether the guess is correct or not. Remember that no matter who make the guess or how beautiful the guess is, if it disagree with experiment, it is wrong. And that is the key to science.